this is Trev. I am the Geekologist. Welcome to the Geekology channel, where today we're going to bring you a unboxing and review and test and verdict for the DC-10, a DAC from Neo Hypo. This is a box that it comes in. It says open. When we open it, we'll find a rubber band some padding and an instruction manual and nothing else because I've already taken it out and put it through its paces. Let me show you more. This is a switched on Neo Hypo DC 10 right here. There is a blue button that says the power is going to it. The power is actually provided by my smartphone, believe it or not. That's more than enough power to get sound and power input into the DC-10. The DC-10 doesn't have its own battery. It just feeds off of the battery of another device. So that other device could be a smartphone, a power pack, or a laptop or PC plugged in through the USB. The USB on the DC-10 provided is either USB-C or USB-A. You can use it on a PC or a laptop or a smartphone and whichever one you plug it into it will provide power. There you go. There's no power on it now because there ain't no music playing. What is a DAC? A DAC is a device that gives sound to digital devices. Analog devices don't need a DAC. Turntables and tape players don't need a DAC. Pretty much everything else does. Your phone has a DAC. It's very small. It's a tiny little computer chip. What manufacturers have done is put that tiny little computer chip into a box and in that box they've added other stuff to give better sound quality than what comes out of your phone. Also it's probably going to be more powerful than the sound that comes out of your phone as well. To get sound from this DAC and many others you need three parts to it. You need a music player, the DAC and then output, because this has no output. All of the money that has been spent on this has gone into the DAC part. So there are no outputs that any money has been spent on on this. You plug it into a headphone amplifier and hey presto, you'll get your sound. There are three types of inputs for this as is standard for most devices. We've got this plugged into USB. You can have optical or coaxial. These two here are the ICA or phono jacks and they will then go to the headphone amplifier, what I've got here. Then all you've got to do is attach a headphone to it. Shall we switch it on and see if it works? I know it works anyway, but let's do it. Oh, lonesome me, Don Gibson, there you go. That proves it works. There's three different types of ways it works. You can use it through your external CD players, your external digital audio players using the coaxial or optical connections or you can use it through your smartphone or your laptop PC using the USB connections. But is it any good? Does it provide for value for money? What does it sound like? What are the characteristics? Well, I can bring you all of that from the comfort of your own home. By using binaural in-ear mics, I have recorded 
what it sounds like through a pair of top quality Hi-Fi 9 closed back headphones. By top quality, these Hi-Fi 9 closed back headphones retail at £5,000, which is a bit overkill for near hypo DAC. Nevertheless, we've done it because we can. I've compared it to this little thing. Looks cute. This is an SMSL M100 DAC. That's all it is, is a DAC. It's a little bit more complicated, a little bit more fiddly to get working. What you've got is two inputs and they're not USB-C, they're micro USB. And the AUX power, let me tell you, is a swine to get right. You've got to get the um, cable in just so, not with USB-C. So USB-C already is a little bit more user friendly. But other than that, it's got coaxial, optical outputs, uh, inputs rather, and the RCA lamp outputs. What I did is I recorded the sound from this and the sound from the RC, the, the DC-10. And you can have a listen to your heart's content. You can work out what you prefer by listening to and from both of these DACs. I've got the volume matched. I'm using the same headphones, only the DAC has changed. You can listen to your heart's content as if you were in my front room using my ears. You can decide for yourself whether this offers value for money and what it sounds like and whether it sounds better than the SMSL. All the same, maybe there's no difference to you. There is a difference, mind. But let me not spoil it either way. I'm going to give you now an opportunity to listen to the whole of a track by Rob Reed and Les Penning called La Volta which is from their Floral Dance CD, which is a mini CD, but is fantastic and so well recorded. And you're going to be able to listen to the whole track twice over, once with the SMSL and once with the Neo Hyper. We'll come back after we've done that and I will give you my verdict. But that is only one person's ears. Nevertheless, they're important ears because we're talking the Geekology channel and I am the Geekologist. So my version will my version of the events will carry some sway. But you are the person with the ears that's going to listen to these. And I can't tell what you're going to think when you listen to them. Exciting, isn't it? Let's get on with it and let's have a listen.
Did you get a chance to listen to it? Did you get a chance to listen to both tracks through headphones? Because headphones will be the way to listen to these. The sound will sound strange any other way because they've been recorded using headphones, by headphones, for headphones. The SMSL sounded more linear in my ears than the Neo Hypo, which had a colour to it. The colour was in the bass region and therefore the mids and highs had had to be boosted to make up for the amount of bass energy there. So the exciting sound, I suppose, came from the Neo Hypo, whereas the more linear, smoother sound came from the M100. Maybe arguably a bit more detail in the M100 than the Neo Hypo, but small differences, I think. The Neo Hypo didn't let itself down. It's a good value for money. It's versatile. It's modern. It can be powered by a smartphone. And it takes USB-C, which is the way forward for all smartphones these days. And a very enjoyable listen it was. Neo Hypo, thank you very much for the review loan. SMSL and Neo Hypo, thank you for the competition. I'm sure that uh, although my opinion must carry some sway because I'm a geekologist, you have formed your own opinion now. As always, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the experience, let me know. Likewise, if you haven't enjoyed the experience, let me know why. And maybe we can change it, you and I, for the better. Until the next time, brothers of the world, sisters of the world, unite for peace, for love, for prosperity and happiness. Until the next time.